Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption. Today I'm bringing you all another episode of Dark End, which I'm super excited to be playing again. It has been a bit of a while, but I believe over a week since my uh, since my last episode. Uh, and speaking of the last episode, a lot of you actually didn't like me playing without a HUD. So what I've done is I've done a little bit of a compromise here. We're actually going to be playing with the Immersive HUD mod. And what this mod allows me to do is it allows me to turn the, uh, the compass on and off. Uh, enemies' health will always be displayed, and also, uh, I'll show you here, uh, whenever I use my, uh, my stand or whenever I use Magicka or whenever I take damage, my health, Magicka, and stamina bars will be displayed. Um, I have enabled a fast fade feature, which makes them fade away a little bit quicker than normal. Um, but once again, if you guys aren't okay with this, then please let me know. I tried to do a bit of a compromise here, but if you if you would rather me just do like default HUD without any mods, that's fine as well. So I do have to say, oh crap, uh, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but I have the gameplay turned on novice um, because we're going to keep it on legendary. I hope you guys are okay with that as well. Um, but yeah, I turned it on novice because I was doing some things earlier and I didn't want to deal with actually fighting hard enemies, so... Um, let me actually pull out... There's a pretty tough enemy coming up, so I'm gonna pull out Paralyze here. And actually, I'm running low on health, so we're gonna heal up. Uh... But yeah, so if I turn on the compass right now, we can see, like, all these enemies over here, so... Um, I pulled out Spellbreaker on accident, and I actually need to do that. Ah, oh, crap, okay, see... Oh my... How did I get one-shotted? What just happened? I'm just like in shock still. Alright. <laughs> I need to be more careful apparently. Yeah, I, I, I'm still like just completely flabbergasted as to how that happened. I have no idea how I just died in one hit. Alright, well. Just one-shot this thing. Oh wow, we didn't kill in one hit. Alright, this thing should go down pretty easy. Um, okay, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to pull out Paralyzed. Um, that Cursed Armor enemy has a lot of health. Uh, Alright. This is really cheap, I know, but like... Ah, shoot. Uh, uh, that wasn't the greatest idea. Because uh, I don't have enough magic to Paralyze this thing now, so... Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's not really doing that much damage. I guess it was these guys that wrecked me. That's kind of strange. I'm still really confused on how I died that fast, man. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Because now I'm not taking, like, any damage from them. Uh, I don't have enough Magicka. I need 50 Magicka to be able to paralyze this thing, so... Alright. Uh, this thing has so much health. It's absurd. Like, I'm using dual-wheel power attacks with, the, with weapons that each do 400 damage. And it's taking this much damage. That's absurd. Alright, well, it's actually almost dead. It also regenerates health fairly quickly, so... Alright, well after that first strange bump in the road, we're doing a little bit better now. Uh... I wanna say that... I wanna say we need to go like... Okay, actually I think I know how we need to go. We need to go like right here. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Uh, and this guy hasn't noticed me I guess yet. Shoot, Elite Night Shadow. Uh, I guess I just need to be more careful. I think... Yeah, I'm still really confused as to how I died back there. Alright, the music is also very loud on mine. Let me turn that down a little bit. Alright. Um, also, just a heads up, I don't really know how long I can make this episode because I do have to go in a second here for something. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but I'm going to be gone uh, out of town Wednesday and Thursday. Or, excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. So I wanted to record this just to have some content for you guys to, uh, to check out. I think there are a lot more enemies for me to take care of up top. Yeah, it looks like there are quite a few. Why am I losing so much health? This, that happens a lot in this DLC. I'm pretty sure that like those, uh, whenever I get hit by an arrow by those archers, there's like a, um, some sort of enchantment attached to them or something, where like, or spell, where I just start losing health. God, that is a loud just scream from a skeleton knight. All right. See, like, you see that blue thing on me? I'm pretty sure that's just draining my health or something like that. Alright. Well, regardless. Um, let's actually pull out Spellbreaker and Shield Charge. Ah, shoot. There we go. Oh, I see I pushed him down. Wait, where did he go? 
I'm losing health so fast. All right. That is doing like no damage. See, I feel like on legendary, in order to do like a significant amount of damage, I have to pull out both uh, both weapons and start power attacking. Otherwise, I just do like literally nothing. Oh my gosh. Uh, shoot. There are still quite a few left. It's also a little bit nice to be outside. Uh, Cause like, the dungeons are dark and the, I, I like that atmosphere and all. But I feel like it just gets like really repetitive after a while. Which unfortunately I do think we're going to be entering another dungeon pretty soon. Yeah, I don't know why I'm still losing so much health. If you guys know and can tell me why um, I'm just like randomly losing health, then please let me know down in the comments. Uh, shoot. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go, but we can actually... We can scale these rocks and it'll make things a little bit easier here. There we go. Okay, all right, and then now we should be able to enter through here. Perfect, Sea Rock Castle. Like I said, I'm not sure if that's the way we were supposed to do that, but that's how I did it last time I played this. Let's go ahead and pull out Torch here, along with my sword. And I will turn off the compass for now. All right, so we can go, we can go over here. Castle first floor. I believe there's also a courtyard area that we can make our way to. Can we read a lot? Uh, one criticism I do have in the mod is like there are a lot of books that you like that are lying there that normally in like uh, an Elder Scrolls game you'd be able to read, but you can't read. Like I feel like I should be able to read that book on top there, but I can't. Just kind of crappy. Um, I'm gonna leave the the compass on for now. Just so I have an idea of where I'm going or if I see any enemies. And let's go ahead and go out to the first floor. Alright. And... Shoot. Maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should turn the brightness up. See, the problem is, like, if I turn the brightness up, I'll be able to see better. But also, like, the game will look crappier. Because, I mean, it'll just get completely washed out. Which I don't really want to do. That's one problem with the mods I have installed. They make the game, like, look a lot better, but I feel like whenever I, like, have, like, a bright source of light, it just gets completely washed out. Uh, I guess we can go out here. Um, yeah, it is a bit, it's actually been a bit of a while since, since I played the mod, so I apologize if I'm struggling a little bit. I don't know if this is the way we're supposed to go. I believe there's a courtyard area, and I remember last time I had to retrieve a key to enter someplace in the courtyard area, but, uh... Kind of unfortunate that we can't pick those things up. Uh, well, this seems like a very purposeless area. Okay, I don't really understand the point of this area, but we're gonna go ahead and exit. <sighs> and we'll go this way. Uh, we'll go this way, I guess. Courtyard, there we go, okay. So I think there's some enemies in the courtyard that we can fight. And I think there's also like a, an area, there's a there's a locked door that we need to find a key to unlock. So there are a couple of locked doors that we need to unlock. Um, all right. And there are two enemies all the way up there. So go ahead and take them down. I have noticed some performance issues with uh, Skyrim Floor Overhaul combined with this mod. Which is kind of unfortunate. Like, uh, while I was walking up there, there was a little bit of frame rate drop. Alright. Uh, but yeah, where am I? I think somewhere. Oh, right over there. Alright, let's actually. Let's pull out Spellbreaker and Shield Charge. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost died. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. He's all the way down here. Oh, he died from the fall. I'm not sure how I didn't take that much damage from that. <laughs> that is just too funny, though. Um, shield charge is a great perk. It's, like, useful and it's hilarious. I would argue that it's, like, one of the better perks in the game. Uh, all right. Aside from, like, the obvious ones, like, you know. Oh, yeah, this is the door that we need to unlock. Yeah, so we need to unlock that. I'm sure there's like a door or two all the way down here. Um, then we can just jump down there. Uh, castle basement, that also requires a key. Are there any other areas that we can enter here? I guess not. 
Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and go back. I guess we did need to go to that castle kitchen. I guess we did need to go back to that back to that uh, first floor area. That's probably where the key is. So let me go and pull out a sword. Alright. Oh, whoa. What? What is that doing here? That's something you get from, like, the Dark Brotherhood quest, right? Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's like, uh, that, that dude who's performing the Black Sacrament. Uh, the Arantina boy. Uh, or Artin... Ar the, the boy who you have to, like... The, the boy who you have to see in order to start the Dark Brotherhood quest line. That's his, like, family's heirloom. So I know what that's doing there. Commander's quarters that is locked. Ooh, what's over here? Training yard. Okay, that looks... Uh, that's an area we haven't been to yet. So I guess we'll try it out. Yeah, this this DLC is a, or this um, mod is a lot of hunting for keys. Uh, whether that's a good or a bad thing. Also, someone uh, suggested to me to use Mage Light. Why are you not moving? Um, the problem with Mage Light is kind of twofold. First of all, I kind of like the torch aesthetic. I think it's actually kind of cool. Um, and it lends like an interesting atmosphere to the mod. Jeez, these creatures are loud. Um, at least on my end. I don't know how loud they'll be on your end when, um, when I upload the video. Because I usually like mess with the game audio a little bit and editing. Uh, but anyways, uh, I kind of like the torch aesthetic. I think it's kind of cool. And that's the first thing. The second thing is like Mage Light just looks weird. And it kind of... Oh, god damn it. Um, kind of washes out the screen. And I'm just not really a huge fan of that. So, alright. I know it's like a really cheap way of handling these enemies. But, eh. I mean, I feel like they don't really do much damage, and they also have a lot of health, which is the worst type of enemy to have to fight. Because, like, they can't do anything to you, but it just takes, like, a long-ass time to kill. So. Oh, my gosh. Shoot. And that dude is getting back up, so. Alright. I do have to say, these enemies uh, are making sounds that are much more annoying than I last remember. Jeez, this is a lot of enemies. Uh, let's actually... Sorry for continually switching weapons. Alright, I think we blew one of them up there. Can we actually knock this guy over? No, we can't. Which kind of sucks. Uh, okay. I think we might have actually knocked... Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we may have knocked one of them off. This freaking cursed armor enemy is annoying beyond belief. To paralyze you. Alright, and then... Gosh. See, that's why those enemies are, are so frustrating. And, and pretty tough, too. Because they don't do that much damage in themselves. But they always appear with a ton of other enemies. And then, like, you, like... Uh, like, uh, these cursed ar armor enemies distract you while you're, uh... While you have to fight enemies that are actually a threat and do a ton of damage to you. And I am stuck. Alright. This thing is almost dead. Just a couple more hits. Jeez. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and pull out, pull out our dual wield setup. Alright, and then kill this guy. Um, oh shoot, I just realized I forgot something. So I did actually miss an item at the uh, end of the last boss battle, which I forgot to go pick up. I was going to do that in between episodes. Uh, I guess I'll have to do that, do that later on. Um, it's actually like a, so the rewards in this DLC, or this keep saying DLC. Quest mod are, uh, are Dark Souls style um, uh, items. So uh, you get these uh, rings that are sort of Dark Souls style rings. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Dark Souls so I, could, I wouldn't be able to expand too much on Oh my gosh I'm losing health fast. Uh, okay. Looks like there is quite a bit to explore in this area. Hopefully this door is open. Oh shoot. See why am I losing that much health? Oh there we go. All right, perfect. So now we can come back here if we want to. Let's go ahead and head down. Oh, whoa. Is that a... Oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. That is not good. Okay. I don't really know how else to handle this, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for being cheap, but I don't really know how else to handle this guy. Jeez. Alright, hopefully he's carrying a key or something. Whoa. Alright. What the? His body's totally glitched out. 
Ah, shoot. Hopefully we can kill him. Oh. Uh, his body just totally disappeared right there. Oh, perfect. All right, nice. Okay, so now we can enter the commander's quarters, which is good. And we have a grief spirit here. Uh, right. These things should go down pretty easily. Shoot. I say that, but I'm getting owned by them. Gosh. Oh man, if I didn't have infinite restoration of this character, then I would be dead so many times over. I'm kind of upset about dying that one time. Cause I feel like that uh, that death was like such a fluke. I don't really know how I died still at the beginning of the video. It's like totally random, just like pff, dead. You know, I think actually we need to go back to the castle kitchen and then we need to go back to that first floor area and there's a, there should be a door to the commander's quarters over there. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first floor. And then I think right here is the commander's quarters. Perfect. Which we just got the key for. That was a tough boss fight. Uh, that enemy was very difficult. <laughs> Considering my character is what, level 60 something, and um, I put quite a bit of effort into constructing this spell. I like to think it's pretty good. Uh, Alright. We'll turn the compass off for a little bit more immersion. I've actually been watching a lot of MXR videos lately. That guy is hilarious, I gotta say. Uh, oh, castle basement key. Uh, oh, it's an interesting looking chest though. Um. All right. Speaking of which, how do you guys like the mod content on my channel right now? Um, I feel like it's mostly been very well received. See, I've been thinking about like what I want to do with my channel going forward. Like, I'm definitely going to be doing Elder Scrolls videos. That much is pretty obvious. But specifically, what type of Elder Scrolls videos has been like a little bit, like I I'm unsure. Like, I definitely want to keep doing lore videos. I think I want to keep doing mod videos because like they have been received pretty well, but I don't know. I mean, should I do more videos, uh, more types of videos is my question. Like, should I continue with the build videos? Because I feel like the build videos haven't been received as well recently as the mod and the, and the lore videos. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll just go back out. We have the basement key, so we can just go down to the basement now. Another thing is Pokemon Sun and Moon is coming out very soon, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of my friends have been trying to get me to, to play it, to get it. Uh, maybe I'll get it. I don't know. I'll probably wait wait until winter break because, like, I have to focus on, like, I want to focus on my YouTube channel as much as I can and then also, like, real life stuff. Figure out what I want to do after college, which has been really strange. Thinking about, like, graduating. I still, like, <laughs> I gotta say, like, the four years of, of my, my, my college experience went by really quickly. Uh, it's so strange that I'm graduating doors barred perfect i'm actually glad i have the hud turned on because i wouldn't have been able to see the fact that the doors barred <laughs> i probably would have been just like really confused and right, we'll go down open that let's jump down here okay i do not believe we've been here this looks new oh my goodness sewer worm looks scary as hell man Gosh, that is a creepy enemy. Uh, look pretty weak. All right, let's see. I think we can go. Let's head this way. Okay, looks like we are making a little bit of progress. I'll keep out closed wounds here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm having trouble finding the uh, the actual exit. Okay, all right. Ooh, that is a picture of Spellbreaker. Uh, Perrion's an interesting Daedric Prince. Uh, he's supposedly one of the weaker princes, but he's also represented as a dragon, which is kind of strange, because dragons are, like, inherently figures of power in the Elder Scrolls universe. Which is exactly what's said, actually, there. <laughs> I wasn't actually reading that description, I just saw the shield and I thought of Perriot. Um, I believe Spellbreaker is one of the- is the- one of the few Daedric artifacts that's in every single Elder Scrolls game. Um, wait. Um, okay. I don't actually think we want to go this way yet. Huh. Okay. 
My bad, guys. Apparently, I'm really struggling to find the find the correct way. And unfortunately, I probably will have to end off this video very soon. In fact, I'm thinking that maybe a couple more minutes of exploration, I'm probably gonna end it off. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think I actually found a new area. So let's go ahead and explore that here. I found a, a library down here, so we'll go ahead and enter there, uh, right over here. And I don't believe I've been here yet, so we might as well check it out. Uh, I just I have a hard time believing this, that the that this courtyard area leads to nothing. So uh, let's actually pull out. Oh, I just need to equip it. Oh, whoa! It's scaring me. The heavy breathing of these enemies is just its so creepy. Alright, we'll plot actually um, Mason's sword and just annihilate him. And then, plot close wounds. Yeah, I feel like those enemies aren't very tough. They like, sound creepy and look creepy and they shoot massive fireballs at you and yet, they just don't really do that much damage to you. Uh, my character does have pretty high magic resistance though, so... That is, that is helpful for sure. Oh! I love those death animations. I wish you had some control over like which death animation you, you could perform. I'm sure there's a mod that does that. It's pretty much a mod for everything. Uh, okay. This is back out. We don't want to go that way. All right, but yeah, oh. Huh. Looks like this is a pretty small area. Is that it? It's like once again, I have a very hard time believing that this area is just like useless and there's nothing here. So we're gonna search a little bit. But I guess maybe there isn't anything here. Huh. Alright, well, we'll go back out and keep searching, I guess. Huh. I think that's all there is to, like, this little... This little location here. I didn't see any other doors, so... Might have to go back to the, uh... Might have to go back in the castle and keep searching. Alright guys, so I'm actually pretty lost and I'm not really sure how to proceed right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end off the episode here. And then in between episodes, I'm going to figure out what to do. And hopefully things will run a little bit smoother in the next episode. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for leaving feedback in the last video. And also be sure to leave more feedback on this video regarding the Immersive HUD mod. Whether you like that uh, and on other things as well. Uh, but otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.